Hi, my name is Danny Thompson, and I'm a part of the men's basketball team. I'm from Springdale, Maryland. Um, what brought me to the Mount was the close-knit community that goes on on campus and the relationship between the players and coaches that I, that I saw on my visit when I first arrived. My dad right now is a retired corrections officer. He served the Marines for a little bit, graduated from Eleanor Roosevelt. My mom, who played basketball while she attended Coolidge High School in D.C., um, right now she's, a, she's working in retail man in a clothing store. Which, for some, which I used to work out when I was in high school for a little bit. I have a younger sibling, I have a younger brother and an older sister. Um, the older sister was a cheerleader in high school. The younger brother played sports for a little bit, but he's not playing sports right now. Some of my hobbies include listening to music, just hanging around with friends and family, goofing around, just having a good time with what I can while I'm still here. I am majoring in information systems and business. Hopefully I can work for some type of IT company or business to that way that can lend in the, the expertise in information technology field. The one thing most people don't know about me is that even though I may be quiet and, and like a shy type of person when I'm around people, I'm actually very outgoing, kind of a goofy person and sometimes. A lot of people don't know that, like they see it when I'm walking about campus, I'm with other people I'm comfortable around, but like for you just now getting to know me, like I may be like quiet for a little bit, but I'm not shy at all. If I could live anywhere in the world, it would probably be Italy. Um, another thing people don't know is I like a lot of the poetry, a lot of the stuff like that. So just being around stuff like that would actually be kind of comfortable. And getting to learn the Italian language wouldn't be bad either. I love the fun about basketball because I get to I get to go places that most people don't really get a chance to go to. Like I've been all around the country. I've been to the southern part. I've been to the northern part. I've been to, to states I've never really got a chance to really get to see, like Oklahoma and and Wisconsin and Illinois and Ohio. Like just. Outside of the usual, your Carolina, your New York, your Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Florida, like those are some states I never really chance. So just, just the fun of being able to go different places is something I really like about the sport. It's kind of funny because I didn't start playing basketball first. I started playing football first. Um, I did that for about a year, and then when I stopped playing football, my parents was like, hey, why don't you go out for a basketball team? So when I was about eight going on nine, I went out for one of the local Sea Wild teams where I used to live at. And ever since then, I've played for that Sea Wild team. I've played for several AAU teams and even some of the school teams I played for when I was elementary school, middle school, and high school. What drew me to be a part of the Mountain Basketball team was when I first saw who used to be the head coach, your coach, Coach Milan Brown. Um, he came on my last home game as a senior in high school where I was I was fortunate enough to actually break the school record for rebounds in the game and I had like my first 2020 game in high school. Um, just getting just sitting down talking to him for a little bit after that game and then keeping in contact and then actually coming on a visit which actually further drew me to just wanting to come be a part of that special relationship they have here. Outside of playing internationally um, I actually thought about culture for a little bit. A lot of people told me like my like I guess what they say basketball IQ is pretty high and like maybe I could help out with some teams coaching like maybe college or high school even some sort of that but uh, mostly just trying to still play after college is over. Being a part of the basketball team you get to you better yourself when it comes to group stuff, your teamwork, ability and how you get to how you treat others and handle yourself around others. Being a part of basketball, you see a lot of different people, so you deal with a lot of different characters in life, so that better prepares me with that. And it also prepares me in being able to work hard and prepare yourself for anything that comes your way. Personally, that the most influence on my athletic career would be my parents, because for a while, my dad taught me how to play football when I wanted to go out and play football, and then you know, he's been there to help me, groom me, better become a better basketball player. And then my mom, for a while, was was coaching me for a little bit, for like, I think, two years. She was coaching me when I was little. So just having him around, just putting more of an aspect on how to make myself a better basketball player, those two have really had a big influence on my athletic career. I liked bowling for a little bit. Um, when I was in high school for, I think, 
Not even in high school. I can say from late elementary school through high school, I actually bowled in like little leagues on, on the weekends for a little bit. Um, that was actually, it was actually fun to do that. If I could compete with anybody in basketball, I'm, I'm gonna go outside the box because a lot of people are gonna say, oh, I like to compete against Kobe or LeBron. I would actually like to play against like some of the older players from like your Magic Johnsons, your Wills, but the person I've liked the most play against would probably be Kareem because he's he's one of the top, I guess to say post players, one of the top players to play the game and it'd be kind of interesting to how to defend against him on a low block and that sky hook of his. It'd actually be a pretty good experience. My favorite sports teams would have to be the San Antonio Spurs, the Boston Red Sox, and then the Baltimore Ravens. Some of the achievements I'm most proud of playing basketball, um, one of them would be winning the conference championship here, being a part of that team, um, getting my first triple-double ever in high school, um, getting a scholarship to play basketball in college, and then one of the other accomplishments that I'm most proud of was playing for one of my first AAU teams who were ranked nationally in the country after my during the 11 and under nationals that year. So those are some of the most proud accomplishments I've had. The year we won the conference tournament would have to be some of my, would have to be part of my most favorite moment being on the mount, being part of the mount. Um, just around that time, that was crazy to be around. All the excitement, the camaraderie between the team, between what's going on on campus. And then at the same time, we was, it was during a tragic moment because we lost, you know, one of a, a student on campus around that time was a very close friend of mine. And just to go around, I actually had that success around a sad time part of the school year was actually pretty good. The advice I give seniors, especially for the males, stay away from girls. No, I'm just playing. The advice I would give them would be to stay on top of your academics. I know people say when you come to college, like your sport is supposed to be the most important thing. Well, people don't understand that if you don't have the certain grades, you won't be able to play your sport while you're in college. So if I were to have anything, stay on top of your books and never lose focus on what your goal is for your team and for yourself when you're playing. Um, it's important to have that in yourself so that way you have something to strive for during the season. My dreams for the Mountain Basketball team is for us to one day be able to go back to the NCAA Championship. That time, and that time, that tournament, I mean, just being a part of that experience was just unreal. Like, I've been a part of the national tournament for AAU. I've been a part of, like, your high school playoffs, but and I've even seen NBA playoff games, but nothing beats the NCAA tournament. That atmosphere is just unreal. And for the Mount Basketball team to be able to get back to that would be great. Follow me on Twitter, SleepyBeast42. And outside of that, just have fun with life. You never know what's gonna happen around the corner, so just take it a day at a time and enjoy yourself.